Hey, Brennan here from Burley Brewing. We're going to talk about canning. Here we are sitting in, in front of the, sitting, we are standing in front of the canning line. So we have six people running this machine. One is the lead operator who's watching the can depalletizer and he's watching the cans getting filled. We have four people on the end catching the 70 cans a minute uh, coming off. And then we uh, have one guy uh, taping up the boxes through an automatic taper and then stacking them over there on the pallet and then off they go. Right over here is our depalletizer that sweeps off a layer of cans. Uh, this is what the cans look like. They're just empty cylinders. This is called a 202. There's also a 206, but we don't use those as a 202. Uh, comes down uh, and they goes through what's called a twist rinser. So they come down right side up, they get twist rinsed out and then get rinsed and then come right back side up again and then come down into the pre-purger, then to the purge and fill, exit. It picks up the, um, the lid and goes on through into the seamer where the cans get seamed really quick and then comes out to the what we call the car wash was actually just a can wash and then comes out and gets a date a date uh, code over here right just right on the corner of the can and then off to the depalletize sorry uh, off to the um, packing station where we have four people uh, picking up the cans and putting them into four or six packs then off into 16 packs or 24 packs through our taper and then they get palletized right over here so the two components to the, uh, to the can or the, you know, what we're doing here is we have a can that's an unseen can and this is what gets filled. Uh, and then we have a lid and this is what gets seamed to the, uh, the can and it goes, it goes into a chuck and it goes to it's two action chucks. So first it, it curves it over a little bit, then, then it goes into second action and it curves it over even more. And that's what makes the seal. And so that's how the lid gets on top. So there's a lot of moving parts on a cannon line. Uh, uh, the biggest workhorse is the seamer. And so if your seamers, what we call drift, as in they get slightly out of alignment, then you can get seams that aren't good. So we check our seams quite often and we look for this and you can get little creases around the can or you can get what, what's, what we call a micro leaker. Um, that happens, big machines, small machines. Uh, but we certainly do try to avoid those. And we also, the, uh, the, there's a check wear on, on this system, an automatic check wear. So it has an, and then if it's not to the right weight, then it has an automatic reject system. So we, it'll actually reject a can and it won't put a lid on it and it'll just put it to the side. So um, the, the question might be, do, do cans explode on the canning line? No, absolutely not. Um, it, they, that's just not one of the things that uh, cans do. If you get a beer that gets canned and it's not finished fermenting, then yes, it can explode. But uh, we at Burley Brewing take a lot of uh, precautions and tests that we never have that issue.